Today we're going to be working on this Kenmore French door refrigerator. This Kenmore refrigerator is made by LG. The model number it's on the display. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. And as I said before, this Kenmore refrigerator is made by LG. So if you have an LG model that looks just like this one, it will be the same procedure. Right now, I'm supervising the uh, filter. Make sure the filter is good and it looks like the filter is good. Sometimes the filter is clogged. And the complaint is that we're not getting any water on the water dispenser. So as you see, we're not getting any water. The filter looks okay. And by the way, this is the first thing you want to do if your filter has been over six months old. Go ahead and replace it and eliminate that possibility because either way you have to replace it. However, that is not our problem today. We're going to go ahead and pull the refrigerator out. And we're going to go ahead and reach the back of the refrigerator to start checking the water valve. Now, this refrigerator brings two water valves, the main water valve and the back and another water valve inside the refrigerator compartment. We're going to go ahead and remove all the screws from the back panel that covers the compressor and also the water valve. Once you remove all the screws, by the way, there are Phillips screws. Just go ahead and use a Phillips screwdriver or your drill with a, a Phillips bit. Once you remove the um, back panel, go ahead and turn off your water line or go ahead and pinch the line with a vice scrapes or something. In my case, um, I'm not sure about that valve and sometimes you want to eliminate the possibility that you have a water flow problem. Now, when you have a problem with the water valve in the house, which is the one you turn it off by hand, then that can throw you off. So what I do is I just pinch the line and check for water pressure just to eliminate the possibility that, you know, create another issue that it wasn't before. Go ahead and use like a adjustable tool to remove the water line from the water valve now i already have checked that i have a good water pressure coming from the wall and now i'm going to go ahead and remove the water valve by removing the two screws there are filler screws now as you see i have two wire nuts there and the reason why is because i already have checked for power i want to make sure i have power coming into the valve now you're not going to have those wire knots i cut the wires that way i can show you guys if i'm getting power coming from um, the refrigerator dispenser now you will see this test i'm doing it you can do it in a different to remove the water line just go ahead and press that ring back and pull the water hose out sometimes you will have to push the water hose in and then bring it right out the way you see in that footage now we're going to keep dealing with the test make sure we're getting power and it's nothing wrong with the dispenser switch because when you put the the water cup there is a switch there that turns on this valve it sends power to this water valve so we want to make sure that switch is not bad um this this test is with power on the refrigerator so make sure you don't touch those wires together because it will create a shortage if you don't know how to deal with the electrician go ahead and don't do this test as you see we have those two wires there and i put my tester there now you're gonna have somebody pushing the um, switch and if you have power coming in that means this water valve it's okay you can also put your leads in the harness or go ahead and test it right at the connection i just cut the wires that way it's easier for me to do this test and uh, put it on the video but as you see it's a harness where those wires go to and you can do it that way as well 
now right now that's how you detach it and i do have power coming into this water valve so what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and start replacing the water valve again go ahead and adjust go ahead and grab a vice grips turn off the water over there or go ahead and grab our vice grips and close and pinch your water line there grab your adjustable wrench and detach the water valve now this is the part number for this water valve you can go to a link in the description of this video to be able to buy this part this is the new water valve and also brings the harness so it will make this repair a lot easier one harness goes for the power the other one i believe is a sensor that tells you how much water you are putting in a cup and they very identical so we're going to go ahead and attach the water hose make sure you push this water hose all the way in because it's a rubber ring inside that prevents the water valve from leaking so you want to feel that in your fingers when you put this water line in that goes um, through that ring and you will feel it in your hand so you have to put some pressure on it to be able to push the water valve in place now we're going to go ahead and connect the harnesses where they go and like i said it's a very simple repair i mean this is a test where you can tell if the water valve is working right or not by putting your test and check for 110 volts and pressing the um, switch like pretend like you're getting water and if you get the 110 volts on the water valve and you and the water is not going through the water valve that means is the water valve now i did all the tests and i was able to determine that this was the correct water valve that is bad but if you put power in there and you are getting water through that water valve and you're not getting water at the dispenser it could be the other water valve that it's on the refrigerator compartment which i'm gonna go ahead and check that next i'm gonna go ahead and mention that i went and did this repair and everything worked fine for about a month in about a month the refrigerator start dripping a little bit of water on the dispenser and in that in this case it was the refrigerator water valve so my suggestion is once you have a problem not water coming in and you do have water coming from the wall in good water pressure by um, go ahead and replace both water valve the main water valve that you see me doing in this video and then the inside uh, water valve that goes on the refrigerator compartment which i'm going to go ahead and show you in a minute so as you see right now i'm getting water everything started working fine for about a two weeks um, i did record the other video where i replaced the inside water valve but that's gonna be another video and you might look it up on my channel but i'm um, just to help you guys up if you guys decide to replace both i'm gonna go ahead and show you the basics that you have to do in this video because i did went and supervised and checked the inside water valve so i'm going to show you what you have to do to be able to get to it now i'm going to go ahead and make sure the ice maker it's on and press a reset button underneath of the ice maker once you press the reset button it will become it will be water coming in to the ice maker and it's going to start producing ice as long as it reach zero degrees as you see the mechanism is doing what it's supposed to be doing and is water fitting filling in once the mechanism goes back in place you will be hearing the water going into the ice maker bucket now we're going to go ahead and close this door make sure the bucket is sits in the right way 
and now I'm gonna go ahead and remove a fillet screws that is covering the ice maker you will see a little drawer on top of this so just remove that drawer to be able to access to this panel remove the fillet screws that holds this compartment and on the bottom is just some tabs it will come right out this bucket just sits there and this is the inside water valve this is the other water valve that allows water to go to the dispenser if you want to replace this water valve as well it's very easy you're going to start by removing this harness then remove the fillet screws on the top and then remove the two harness that goes to the water valve solenoids also remove the two water hoses the blue and the white one and lastly you will remove the red hose on the back and that water valve will come right out and that would be a very easy replacement there however like i said before i record this procedure two weeks after and that video might be on my channel or just look for it later on on this channel now we're going to go ahead and put this cover back together it's kind of a tap on the bottom they have to align up and then it's a fillet screw sometimes you just have to hit it with your hand to make it go in place but you know once you remove it just look the same way it removes it it will go back in there put the screw in place and that will be the way to replace this water valve very simple once you put the screw just put whatever you have removed from the refrigerator compartment put it back in place close the door as you see i'm putting this drawer where you know customer has a couple things there and close the uh, ice maker as you saw the bucket wasn't inside correctly there is the reset button i didn't hear any water first so sometimes because it's airing the lines you might have to do it twice and there we go at this point we're pretty much done just go ahead and put the refrigerator back in place make sure all the connections are right they are not leaking as you see i'm just making sure there's no water dripping from any of these connections you can take a look of how this connection goes right there make sure everything is secure if you like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel thanks for watching